Thank you very much for joining me on this Monday. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields. I hope you had a good weekend. Now we have a lot to track. This is a very important video. I wanna give you a heads up right away. If you are in Belize, Honduras, Nicaragua, or our Colombian islands that are right off of Nicaragua, uh, Providencia, uh, San Andres, and uh, Cayman Islands and Jamaica. So again, Belize, Honduras, Nicaragua, our Colombian islands off the coast of Honduras, and as we work our way back through the Cayman Islands and Jamaica, we need to monitor this next system very carefully. There is a potential that this becomes a hurricane. So I wanna be very clear with that. I'm gonna repeat myself again. I don't do this channel uh, for, for show, I do it just for safety. So Belize, Honduras, Nicaragua, uh, as we get toward Providencia, San Andres, and uh, the Cayman Islands plus Jamaica. Spread the word. We've got a system that will be very close by by the end of the week. Here's what's going on. Again, what's left of one system is up to the north. That's not getting very organized. Lots of rain. And, and your friends of Puerto Rico could tell you there has been a lot of heavy rain with this. There's a ton of moisture building here. We've had the flooding in Puerto Rico, a lot of rain through parts of the British and U.S. Virgin Islands. Not for all of us, but a lot of us. That moisture is going to build. Western Caribbean, we're pretty quiet now. And then we have this out here. This is Pilar. This is in the Eastern Pacific. That is also going to bring the life-threatening flooding to parts of Guatemala, Southern Mexico, and El Salvador, and then even the west coast of Nicaragua. And then we're looking in the east coast for the potential of another system that'll be close by. And this could be close to the Cayman Islands and Jamaica. So yes, uh, thank you for your patience. I will repeat myself some. I just want to get the word out. That's why I do this. So this is what we're watching. In this area, we are now in monitor mode. That means we don't have to take action. Uh, there's not something definitely headed our way, but there is now the higher likelihood that something could be nearby later this week and into this weekend. It is a developing area that will march across the Caribbean, okay? So once it gets near the Central and Western Caribbean, it could be a tropical storm, if not a hurricane. It has the potential to become a hurricane. Let's hope not. Hopefully it's just a rainmaker. But again, these locations right here, even on the edge of Costa Rica, northern side, we are now in monitor mode. That means we're spreading the word, sharing this channel. I love subscribers. Thank you for subscribing, but just more importantly, getting the word out. Let me show you the setup. So watching this area here, here, which was trying to develop some yesterday. It's kind of stuck there because high pressure right now is a blocker, but to the west of that, there is a front here. So my friends in the Bahamas, even if this did try to develop, this front is going to help to steer this away. That could en enhance the chance of rain by Wednesday in Bermuda, but as of now, not seeing a lot of development out of this. But again, you get to the south, near Haiti, Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, lots of moisture building here. And there is Pilar, which will bring the intense flooding, which I'll zoom down to in a moment. So this is the setup as it stands. Now, let's move forward with the European model. There are some differences in all of the models. I've been checking everything overnight and this morning. Now, let me take you out in time as we work our way into Wednesday and stop the clock here. So whatever this system is over here, again, this kind of works its way up here. But look at this moisture here that is building. Now, the European model kind of goes back and forth on how much this will develop. But all the models, all of them, almost all of them, are seeing a lot of rain over here. And then you see this developing into a strong hurricane uh, close to uh, uh, Guatemala and El Salvador, but trying to eventually move away. But you see here, so we'll get into that in a moment. You see here, this is by the time we get into Friday. Friday morning, This the European model shows some sort of development. Here's Jamaica, here's the Cayman Islands. There could be a tropical storm nearby by Friday, and then it's kind of a wait and see to see how much time it has over water to strengthen as it moves toward Belize, Honduras, Nicaragua, and again, some of our friends in the islands right through here. So this is becoming more of a serious situation. Now, the American model shows a similar thing. I want to show you that here. I want to start with the winds on this, but the American model has this ramp up into a stronger system quicker. Okay, which sort of makes sense because all the models are seeing it and the water is so very warm. So look at here, this is by the time we get into Wednesday afternoon. You see the spin right in there? That would be a developing tropical depression just to the south of Santo Domingo, the Dominican Republic, just to the south of Jacmel in Haiti. So that would stay to the south of Haiti and the DR. But then by the end of the week, this is by Friday, spinning up what could become a hurricane at that point. The American model has this as a hurricane by the time we get into Friday. So if I still see this tomorrow, we may have to go from monitor mode 
to action mode with this, but you can see a developing system right through here. And then what happens with it? Well, most of the indications are that it would continue to march somewhere off to the west. That's why I mentioned these areas here. There's a slight chance it would jog to the north. That's why we're also in monitor mo mode in Jamaica and in the Cayman Islands. We could have winds in this by the time we get into Friday about 110 kilometers an hour. That's roughly 70 miles per hour. So a strengthening system. And we've seen these systems go from nothing to something in a hurry due to those very warm Warm water temperatures always warm this time of year still in the Caribbean but they're above average so a closer look here and then I'll shift back over here again today we're going to have the uh, flooding in spots watching that El Salvador Nicaragua watching this build you see here look how the moisture just kind of gets left behind we have that weaker system up to the north that'll bring some rain to uh, Bermuda by the time we get into midweek but this is tomorrow afternoon watching down toward Trinidad and Tobago. We could have some flooding, scattered rain and storms as we work our way to St. Lucia, Barbados. And then as we get through the week, here it is on Wednesday afternoon, just to the south, lots of rain building. The ABC Islands, we could see that rain chance shoot up Wednesday and Thursday. I'll fine tune that as we get closer. I want another day for a little more information out of this. But by the time we get into Thursday, the American model has this thing spinning. And again, the European model sees this as well, but the American model just intensifies this quicker. So that is the difference. But uh, forecast, as far as forecast goes, intensity is always the most difficult thing. Then you see here by Friday, this would be a tropical storm developing into a hurricane just north of Colombia, although there could be some rain enhanced Nicaragua, Costa Rica, and Panama with this. And then this will either shift kind of up into this direction or work in. We could have a hurricane hit land sometime this weekend for some of us. So again, that is the big concern with this. Now, the area near the Bahamas, that one, because that front is going to shift away. So that one will shift away uh, near the Bahamas, uh, whether or not it develops. Again, most of the modeling does not have it develop, but keep an eye on the increased chance of rain in Bermuda. Now we get over here, here's uh, Mexico. We get toward, uh, again, ignore a couple of these. I gotta shift these, uh, my, uh, my markers here. Uh, El Salvador and Costa Rica, the labels got a little shifted, but you see this flare up right there? That is really blossoming. And this now is Pilar, it is a tropical storm. What's gonna happen with this is, it's gonna bring life-threatening flooding, but it may not even hit land. The center of it may stay offshore, drift toward land, and then drift back away. That's the thinking now, we'll see how that shakes out. But El Salvador, uh, coastal sections of Honduras on the Pacific side, down through Nicaragua on the Pacific side. We have tropical storm uh, watches that are now up, tropical storm conditions. The issue will be the rain in the mudslides with this. So you see it right through here, this circulation here, very, very heavy rain, intense rain. The rain is tropical downpours, some gusty winds out of this, but the water coming from above is the biggest issue with this system. So Southern Mexico, Guatemala, El Salvador, uh, Nicaragua, you see here Costa Rica enhanced rain. This is by tomorrow afternoon, just kind of feeding in off of the Pacific, tons of rain here. Uh, watching the terrain, river rises, please watch those river crossings and the mudslide, landslide threat. And then the system may weaken or just kind of start to back away late in the week. So I'll be watching that very carefully, but those rain totals out of control. We are, we're off the chart here. So we're looking at rain, very coastal sections of El Salvador, uh, Honduras, Nicaragua, Costa Rica, this very bright shading, this is over 150 millimeters of rain. When I see these colors yellows popping up, we're looking at 300 millimeters of rain or more in spots for a two day total. That is terrible. Uh, that's a, a foot of rain, 12 inches of rain for a two day total. It's not gonna be for all of us, but again, right along the coast, that will easily lead to that mudslide threat. So again, of all the videos I have done uh, this season, this one has a lot of, unfortunately, big threats with it right now um, that could be life threatening. That's just what it is. So as we uh, take a look here, now with the rain we have in the Eastern Caribbean, still enhanced rain where we could get an additional uh, four to six inches of rain, additional in Puerto Rico. We've already had some spots get around six to 12 inches of rain. And we're gonna see again, that would be roughly, we could see an additional 100 to 150 millimeters in some spots. Dominica, Martinique, St. Lucia, some downpours still possible. Same thing, same fits with the Grenadines, Barbados, Grenada, Trinidad and Tobago. Just seeing how these kind of bands of rain set up and then wrap into this new developing system that'll be marching off to the west. So again, tons going on, unfortunately, when it should be a quieter time of the hurricane season. Vince is the next name on the list. So whatever develops next, which could be that area in the Caribbean, 
gets the name Vince Whitney after that. And then there's a secondary list we will go to. We work our way into the Pacific. Right now we are on Pilar. And again, that is uh, the big the big marker with that is that uh, such an interesting system where it may not even make landfall, but dump those incredible amounts of rain. Incredible on the in the kind of bad sense of that term. So Puerto Rico, as I mentioned, that rain chance stays elevated. U.S. Virgin Islands, British Virgin Islands, that rain chance stays up. We work our way into Barbados. Scattered storms, Barbados, uh, St. Lucia. Again, it just really depends on where those bands of rain set up. Some spots will stay dry. A few of our islands in the Eastern Caribbean will stay dry, while others see some isolated flooding. So scattered rain and storms, Trinidad and Tobago. Some spots in Trinidad have had rain. Others have been dry. Grenada, 50% chance over the next couple days and a 50% chance over the next three days. St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Guadalupe, same, same idea. Guadalupe, Dominica, Martinique, scattered rain and storms, 60% chance. Those big time tropical downpours, if you get the rain, that could lead to some of the isolated flooding in uh, Martinique. A 40% chance in Tigan Barbuda. Most of the action is now trying to pull its way off to the west. St. Kitts, Nevis, and Montserrat, about a 50% chance. A 40% chance in Guilla and St. Bart's for today. And a 50% chance St. Martin, uh, Saba, and Stacia for the rest of today. 40% chance in Jamaica. All eyes in Jamaica again, off to the east, watching this developing system in the Eastern Caribbean. Same thing as we work our way through the, Car uh, the Cayman Islands. I mentioned we are in monitor mode, just an isolated shower in Belize, but again, all eyes watching off to the east. Now, Aruba, Wednesday, that's the day we may see this rain chance go up. I have 40% right now. But as I showed you, it may be higher. If this thing starts to get its act together, Aruba, Curacao, Bonaire, even northern Venezuela in northern Colombia, I'd bump up that rain chance Wednesday and Thursday. So giving you the heads up, scattered rain and storms to widespread in Haiti and the Dominican Republic. Worse weather with this developing system would be just to the south offshore, but we may see a spillover of some showers. Wednesday, watching Bermuda for the increased chance of rain, that system near the Bahamas that gets wrapped into a front. Yucatan and Mexico also keeping a very close eye on what's going on off to the east. Bahamas holding at about a 40% chance of rain and storms, 40 to 50% chance through the Turks and Caicos. Cuba, 30 to 40% chance. That high chance of rain through Costa Rica. I mentioned that flood threat. I've been highlighting Central America with one system on one side, another system coming on the northern side. Venezuela, at least a 40 to 50% chance of rain and storms. Guyana, a 30% chance chance and a 20% chance in Suriname. So tons going on. Again, all eyes in the Caribbean. Just to be very clear, Belize, Honduras, Nicaragua, our uh, Colombian islands off the coast of Nicaragua. So San Andres, uh, Providencia, and then you get toward uh, the Cayman Islands and Jamaica. We are now in monitor mode. We need to watch this. Please share this info information. Get the word out that there is a developing system out there and it is, it's not far out there. It's where we are. It's close to home. It is going to stay active as we head into November. So I'm going to be watching this nonstop throughout the week. So thank you for being part of this weather community. Be safe and have a good day ahead.